The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Game Shift. Tonight we have uh, Speedrunners, Technomancer, The Sims 4, The Culling, and Tekken 7. Join us. Uh, Speedrunners speed by Tiny Build Games. Yep. And, uh, you know, first glance doesn't look like anything special. Yeah. Side scroller. Exactly. Yep. And, um, but the way the levels are built, you, you backtrack the levels, you have traps you can set, you have like this little uh, rope you can like swing on like Tarzan to get ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also use that rope to grab the other players and pull them behind you so you win. Yep. The object is just to come in first three times. Mm -hmm. And, so this is like something that surprised me was it's multiplayer. Yep. So you can play online with all your friends and, and, and you just go crazy because it's so annoying, but so fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then uh, you, what surprised me is they also have a single player story mode, yep. which is like kind of a little bit of a bonus because the game is just- Someone's way ahead of you right now. Yeah, and this game is so much fun. <laughs> I think in single player, you can only play oh. as that one character. Oh, you're ahead. And he do it, Yeah, folks. and all I have to do is hit the edge of the screen to knock those guys down. Oh. You get, like, a nice speed boost there. Oh, oh, if I made that, I would have won. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's just very exciting when you're playing it. Like I said, aggravating because yep. they're always trying to do oh, yeah. something oh, to get oh, you. Oh, yeah. If you don't know the, the uh, level so yep. good, oh, it's crazy. You, I got stuck on so many walls where, like, I'm like, how do I get up there? Might have been this one, too. She's ahead again. There's a point where you have to swing and then swing again to get up. Yep. And I kept on missing the swing. So there's points where you actually have to use the, the Tazin mm -hmm. or, the, or the grappling hook to get ahead. Getting intense here. <laughs> getting there, you're getting there. Can he do it, folks? But it's like non-stop fun. The whole game is just, and see how the screen starts shrinking. That's yep. pretty cool. They did a really good job with this oh, game. Oh, oh, I lost. I knew it. <laughs> uh, right it at the end. Never seems to end well for Bill. <laughs> oh, man. I, I do pretty good at this game, but uh, that was just an unfortunate event. <laughs> What's the story mode like? Um, I mean, mostly, you know, you're just challenging racers, and you mm -hmm. get, like, the, there's a boss character that will challenge you, and he has a special and unique skill. Yep. that you have to figure out and try and, you know, still get ahead of him even though he has that skill. If you're losing, you can accelerate the loss by, like, uh, if, if I already lose, like, they'll keep racing and I can continue watching the race. Yep. Or I can freeze the other two characters and just whoever's nice. ahead wins. So it's a, it's a quick game. It's like kind of a pick-up-and-play type game because you don't have to know everything. And, mm -hmm. and it's just fun. Pure fun. And multiplayer, it's twice as fun. Yeah. <laughs> Because you can yell at each other over the mic and grappling hook the people in front of you. How many laps is it? Um, until it, it'll keep going until one of you wins. Okay. So it's, it doesn't go by laps or anything. It's just like I have to hit the edge of the screen before her. Gotcha. I think I win. There you go. I did okay there. So, yeah, speed runners. I mean, uh, you know, boss characters are great. Yep. I gave the game a nine because Very just cool. because of it being so fun. Nice. And, and I mean, graphic-wise, it's a classic uh, little style there, which is fine. Yep. I, I, you know, not necessarily you don't need the best graphics to win me no. over. <laughs> All you need is a fun game, and if the graphics are, are there too, great. And this one is so simple, and it's just like, you think it's simple, but then you find people who like the shortcuts. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, traps you can trigger like that. Yep. Now the person would fall down and have to take the longer path. So. You know, it's just, there's a lot going on. Yep. I might, I might have this one with the speed run now. And you, there's a little power-ups like that. The other things will let you uh, 
create a custom block. So yep. like when you're running, you can throw a block behind you and block the other person from getting in front of you. It's nice. Pretty cool. See how this plays out, because this would be the, uh, if I win, I win the whole thing. Yep. <laughs> and he do it, folks. Oh, he's second. Oh, he's back in the first place. The levels are different, too. Like, they have this one, which is like factory jungle. Mm -hmm. So they're all, you know, each, I think it's three or four sets of levels. Yep. We'll have one boss character, and then it changes to, like, a completely different stage. The factory has those drop. Yep. Panels, the uh, jungle. I'm not sure. I, I think you can forget if you can like. There you go. There's different traps you can set. Yeah. Hey, built one a game. I did awesome. it. <laughs> Next up, Technomancer. Yep. And this game, this game's been out for a little while, but uh, I've never tried it. Mm -hmm. And now it came out. There's a little bit of a um, role-playing game element to it. So yep. this is a boss character here, um, which is very difficult for the first. This is the first boss character for the whole game. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me of the game we did last week, Killer is Dead. Yep. Same type of character. Um, it's made by spiders. I gave the game a 7. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason I gave it a 7 is it's kind of, the controls are a little uh, hard to get yep. used to. Um, that's about it. I mean, the graphics are great. The graphics are fantastic. Yeah, the, the, the characters look great. The animation's good. It's just like, you know certain certain parts of the controls where you can't get like like here like i'm trying to hit that thing mm -hmm. and you can't there you go you hit i it can't once. get in there yeah you got to get around the front of them and yep. it's pretty difficult it just gets aggravating instead gotcha. of fun eating on that leg you'll eventually kill it yeah i am taking points off of them <laughs> like you can see the little points going yep. up i'm taking like nothing like six points off of them or something yeah and then, and then he shoots out the little guys at Nice him. lighting effects. i got to give it that. It, it is a... Uh, the graphics on the game are incredible. It's always nice to see a company pay attention and do the lighting well. Not just general, hey, everyone's lit from the same direction. Right. Just the shadows. Yep, the shadows they're, they're doing the, the lighting else. effects really well here. It is one of the better... Uh, one of the better graphics mm -hmm. that I've seen on the, on the Xbox One. And, and you can customize your character. You can yep. do different weapons. Then you power charge the weapons, as you can tell. Like, mine's got lightning. Um, and, and it all makes a difference. So what's, what's the premise on this? You're you a prisoner, or what, what's going on? Um, no, you, you, you're part of a group of techno, technomancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you have this power to create electricity or, you know, different spells for your weapons and stuff. And, yep. and uh, so... You were made for this, I guess. So you join their their crew, and you're just supposed to ha uh, be helping them out. So they're like, "Hey, you know, follow me." Right now, I'm yep. just going through like the, the start of the game. So I have like a guy who's my mentor, who's going through this with me, but he's up in the control room right now. Mm -hmm. And the only objective is to get rid of these these guys. These things. So he's testing my powers. Gotcha. So so then they see that you have like really good powers and you can use them well mm -hmm. so then you're part of their team and you gotta like uh you're fighting for like to, to make them stronger yeah so and he's dead yeah and see now he doesn't know he has this great power of whatever in his arm so he passes out <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's gonna munch on you <laughs> This guy steps over you and punches it in the face. <laughs> That's his own lightning bolt yep. thing. So then, like, you know, so then you get into the game and it gets a little bit more, and then you get bigger characters, bigger levels. This was kind of a small level. Yep. But the graphics are great. It reminds me of, like, the Force Unleashed. It looks kind of like the same, same graphics mm -hmm. as that, but with better lighting. Yep. <laughs> Something's up with my arm. Uh, you'll get better. Are you so there's two sides like you know the guys who are fighting against you and the guys who are with you so mm -hmm. the guys who are fighting against you don't believe in the power that you have yep so they're out to get you so that's that's basic that's the premise of the game that i know so far gotcha so if you're not with us you're against us uh, let's get one of those <laughs> that's annoying so then we brought in you brought in the, the sims, sims 4. yep uh sims is a classic classic franchise, uh, EA's bread and butter for many, many years. Every time a new Sims game comes out, 
people flock to it by the millions. And uh, you control people's lives. I just took two people that were already created, and you've got to do everything from feed them to make sure they get to bed, change clothes, take showers, take baths, do cooking. And just like in real life, uh, you start out with no skill when you first do things. You go to cook the first couple times, you'll probably set the stove on fire, uh, which is not particularly a good thing to do. And the TV's going on in the background because she's bored and wants something to do. And sometimes they will do things on their own. Sometimes they won't. But uh, they, they definitely need some, some guidance from you. Uh, there are forums and whole communities based on the sim speak that they uh, use here because it's, it's gibberish English. Yeah. There's no real words being spoken, but it is fun to listen to and uh, certainly an interesting concept. You have to give each of your people a job, uh, which they will advance at slowly during their, their time there. Uh, you can, just like real life, take a day off because you need a day off. You won't get paid, but you can take the day off. Uh, it may work for you, it may work against you, stuff like that. Um, the game is completely customizable. You can add furniture, customize your characters, look however you want. Uh, again, I just took two people that uh, the game comes with initially just to do this, this quick demo. Um, but this is Sims 4. It's actually been out for, I think, the better part of five or six years now. And they keep coming out with expansions for it. Uh, I only gave this one eight phalanges, and the reason I did that is because EA Games keeps coming out with expansions for it. They tra keep trying to milk this cash cow like something yeah. fierce. Uh, every few months, there is an expansion or an add-on or something. Pets. Uh, pets. <laughs> they just introduced a bowling uh, alley uh, function for this uh, just two constant. months ago. Yeah, constantly. So they are just out constantly coming out with stuff, trying to make as much money out of this as, as humanly possible. And uh, I'm going to go through the careers here and finally select one for uh, this gentleman here. And I believe I scroll down and eventually go to Tech Guru because he had some tech inkling. So we, we gave him uh, the Tech Guru. We'll sign up for that. We'll click OK. And that's his job. He starts in a couple days. However, he's left a mess on the floor, so i got to tell him to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, if you leave your Sims just to their own, uh, by the time you get back to them, your house will be a disaster. The stove will probably be on fire. Um, the bills will be unpaid. And it just, it's just messy. It's very, very messy. It's lots of fun. It's addicting. This game will suck you in like nobody's <laughs> business. Uh, but yeah, the game can be Some very... Some people got into like being evil to their sims. Yes. You can uh, build that, walls around them. You can build walls around them. They will eventually die. Um, and they panic. <laughs> they do. Um, one of the tricks I've seen is building a swimming pool, putting your sim in the swimming pool, and then taking the ladder to get out of the swimming pool in. Oh, Even though the edge is just you know this high, yeah. they <laughs> can't climb out without the ladder, so they drown in there eventually. Boy. Uh, which is it's not a good way to go, but there are some interesting things yeah. in there you can do. You know, you'll have ghosts, like, you'll have the Grim Reaper show up. Because people are just like, I wonder if I could do this. And they do it. And yep. they're like, oh my god, I did it. What do we, you what? can go through entire generations of families with The Sims. Because they can have babies. And <laughs> those babies can eventually grow up and have babies. And there's relationships. And it's, it's amazing what they've done with this game from the early days of the early Sims. Uh, but definitely a recommendation. If you've never tried it, at least take a look at it. The base game itself. Uh, but you can be social. You can be social, you can be anti-social, you can pick you a can, number of traits for your now, sim. Can you, when, when you're like, if you make your sims more social, can you do it online and meet other people online? I, Is that available? I thought it was. I for, think so. I've never actually taken the sims online, but yeah. I know you can share files in the sims 4. Uh, so you can yeah, share so your I characters think, yeah, you and you can share other. your houses. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, so that wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth a gander to, to take a look at and whatnot. I'm just putting in some furniture because he's a tech guy and he needs a computer. So got to put in a desk, got to put in a chair, got to put in a computer. And all this stuff costs money, right? Well, there went 300 simoleons. Oh, and boy. Yeah. And he's not working yet. He's not working yet. <laughs> you start off with X amount of money. You've got to buy a house to live in to start. And you can upgrade that railer or uh, you can just buy a whole new one once you've got a career going and have enough money for it. Uh, there are no bank loans that I've seen in this. So if you're out of money, you're out of money. Done. That's it. Yeah. You've got to buy groceries. It's, it's real life but a sim, so it is what it is. But, yeah, that's The Sims 4 and uh, EA Games. Definitely worth taking a look at.
Next up, we've got uh, The Culling from Xaviant. Yep, Xaviant Games, which, uh, yeah, so they decided it's, I said Hunger Games, but yep. like it's more like uh, a Japanese version. I uh, forget what it was called. Oh, anyway. <laughs> You have to, you basically, um, they drop you into an area. Mm -hmm. You have to find weapons. So you have to run, search lockers, whatever. You can also yep. build weapons if you want. So you can pick up like rocks and uh, make a knife out of a rock. Yep. And then you basically hunt each other. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, a multiplayer or a single player? It's, it's multiplayer, but this right now is just going through the basics. Okay. So you can see a little bit. So, so there's blocking. You can block their weapons with like, I guess you have like, Iron. Yeah, she looks really confused something. when you're blocking. It's like, Dude. yeah. And she's just standing there, like, and I'm almost the dead. Hell too. Are you I doing? don't know how. You know, I'm blocking. Hey, I'll wait. Well. <laughs> wait for you to put your arms down. She's just standing there, like, yeah. She's oh, like, yeah, well, I, put I, your I, arms up. Yeah, I'll I, stab at you, and yeah, you, you'll I, I, block I can't stab it, and then you can you're hit doing me. that. So, you go through the basics, but um, it's it's a pretty interesting game because yeah. it's really like you're just oh, hunting each other. The last person to survive would get like you know the win and points, and mm -hmm. you, get, you can get better weapons and stuff like that. So they're telling me to grab a bow here. Yeah, uh, you have been injured. Uh, got the bow. Okay, you've got the bow. Yeah, hunt someone. <laughs> There's nobody in the room. Not yet. Head back downstairs to the parking lot. The graphics are decent. Yeah, the graphics are pretty Ooh, okay. Oh, the levels are pretty big. Yep. So they do have like uh, the dome, mm -hmm. so you can't go too far out into the, to the level, but they are. Uh, good size. It's an interesting way for a bandage to work. You rub it on yourself. Yeah, you just you know, it's like it's a powder. tiny racer. <laughs> so they're gonna uh, forget what they, they they tell you what to do, but it's quick. use the airdrop pad, which you're currently not going towards. Right. <laughs> oh, I gotta go outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way. I'm just making sure nobody's out to get me. Uh huh. <laughs> Here we go. There we, we go. Are outside now. Step here. Okay. There's the drop pad. How do you operate the drop pad? You flex your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, but I mean, the game really is pretty good. Like, uh, it's just hunting people, yep. big levels. Like, they could be hiding anywhere. They come at you. You, you got to figure it out. They could have a bow and hit you from the distance. You're going to be like, where is that person? Oh, you broke your bow. Now you're going to stab him in the head. A hammer of some kind. Now I got my knife back. There you go. Cut his head off. <laughs> a knife. How does that even work? I don't know. What do I get here? Like a blunt object. Yeah, it's, yep. a, it's, it's a sledgehammer. sledgehammer. <laughs> now, now you walk further. Poison you can see the, see the dome. Yep. Yeah, and you can, yeah, the gas vents will make it so that the people inside the building actually have to come out. Yep. So, so when you set... Or sometimes if you set the gas vent off, it'll send a gas explosion and it'll just keep getting wider and wider and mm -hmm. you have to run from it as well. So there's going to be some uh, stri uh, strategy going on here. Yep. There's the gas chamber. I wish it would just, you know, make an exhaust and go into the house so people have to run out because if mm -hmm. they're hiding in there, there it goes and I just uh, Yeah, you were, you were right in Whole middle bunch of it. Of it. Yeah, I, sh I should have ran away from it. Yep. But Bill didn't think about that, so... No, that uh, was yeah. the first time I set it off, and, and what I thought was going to happen was that it was going to send the smoke into the vents. I didn't Maybe think not. it would blow myself up. And then you get this uh, tracker, so you can track where some of the players are, but you can't mm -hmm. obviously use that all the time because, yeah, it'll tell you where a player is, but then you... In that direction. Yeah, then you have your knife, like, you know... Yep. On you, but not not on your in your hand, so makes it a little more difficult to track people. Yep, he's on the side of the rock. Break out your weapon! Break out your weapon! Nope, too late. He's right there with the spear. He's got a big spear. I got. Yeah. That's all right. I got a sledgehammer. <laughs> but I'm half dead. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if uh, you know. I'm hitting him pretty hard with that sledgehammer, and I don't think a normal person would just stand there. And it's probably a nerf sledgehammer. Me. Yeah. He's still slashing at me. I'm hitting him with a 50-pound sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah, but it's all nerf on one. I, I won one. I won Bloody one. Bloody miracle, folks. <laughs> Bloody miracle. Yay! <laughs> what do you get? 
You get Last Tekken up, 7. Tekken 7. <laughs> so anyway, Tekken 7, like, uh, I actually went back and I was streaming Tekken 6 uh, last night. Yep. And I was like, oh, this is what I hate about Tekken. Because they took a single-player mode, mm -hmm. but they made it so you had to walk through the levels. Yep. And you walk through the levels, and the controls are not good. Mm -hmm. There's nothing good about walking through the levels. There's, like, you pick up certain things. Tekken 7 fixed all of that. Now nice. the single-player mode is, that a, guy's hair? is a story mode. Uh, his hair has always been like that. Wow. But um, uh, the story mode in this, spot on. Nice. I gave this game a perfect 10 because they went back to the roots where it's like, you know, you get awesome CG scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, the fight scenes are even better than any Tekken I've ever seen. Yep. Uh, pretty good, you know, really, really, really good graphics, I should say. So nothing about this game. You can't say anything bad about it. Nice. Online play, you know, uh, multiplayer. You can play with all your friends. It's, good. it's easy to set up, good to play, fun. Very nice. And this is just leading into the... Uh, the fight so now you now you'll figure out like i have to fight all these guys but instead of doing it like tekken 6 did where you're taking on four or five guys at a time it focuses in on like one character mm -hmm. so it's one on one made sense and it made a, a way better game nice and this was actually in the arcades in japan mm -hmm. and then they decided to put it to Bring a over. port now yeah. yeah it's so much easier to do that now it, and, and it's this game is perfect You get to get a sense of all the characters. The the, the CG scenes are awesome. Um, you can kind of see. I mean, it's, yep. it's just beautiful. And wow, he can jump. This is how it sets up, like the you know the the, the main fight that you're mm -hmm. gonna have, and then it goes into another cutscene, which some people might not like the cutscenes. You can you can skip you can them skip if you them? want. Okay. I just appreciate. The first time around, you should watch this cut, the cutscene, so you can get the whole story. Yeah, get the story. They have like a, a sub story that's going on during this. So this is me fighting now. It just mm -hmm. breaks you, breaks into it like that. Yeah. There's a special. Uh, you'll see the lower left hand corner. You see how it says like story. Uh, story assist. Story assist. You hit the left trigger button, and then mm -hmm. you can do like one button combos. Yep. And I recommend using that sometimes. <laughs> I'm not using it right now. Yeah, this guy's beating the crap out yeah. of you. So when you get little energy like this too, mm -hmm. though, you get um, the chance to use your special. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping I'll pull that pull that off soon. <laughs> hoping I'll pull it off soon. We'll, we'll see what happens. Let's see if he can actually win one. He did. I won that, but now Yay. he's got a special. See how he's uh. going? The, the way it works, though, is like uh, if you're doing really well, you might not even get that special. Mm -hmm. If you start losing a little bit, you get the special, and then you can make a comeback. Or, yep. or even if you do it when both characters are low on health, you'll win the fight with the special move because yep. it takes off so much energy. I want to pull off my special. or Maybe he will so you can actually see it. But it, they're really good moves, Yeah, he, too. he hit you really, really Getting hard. You good, yeah. There's my special. Now I might come back. Might. Step on his foot. There we go. And then hit him in the back of the knee. <laughs> yep. Send him flying. Bye-bye. But that's what Tekken's all about. Like yep. You have these awesome special moves, and, and uh, Akuma's in it from Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, certain things going on. There's different levels. The, the backgrounds are amazing. The CG's amazing. Yep. The multiplayer's amazing. <laughs> You can, you have a, um, my understanding is you have some hidden characters, too, that you can unlock. Good. So tons of unlockables. You can customize your character with all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. So, and it'll show up in the, in the you know, when you fight, it'll show up on the character. So it's Very nice. really cool. Everybody online could have, like, a different-looking character. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite games. Yeah. Then you get a long cutscene, but we don't have yeah, to see it. Yeah, that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. So next week on the show, I'm going to try and get Dirt 4. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what else is coming out? There's two. Oh, Morrowind. Morrowind? Yeah. Yep. Try for those. Nice.
because Morrowind's getting good reviews and Dirt 4, mixed reviews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to check everything out as we can. Dirt Rally, the controls were very, very difficult. Yep. And I never got used to them. I didn't even play that game. So gotcha. I paid paid for it, didn't play it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that happens to the best of us. I there know. are games I've bought, they're just, they're just still sitting there. Yeah, and you shelf them and you're like, oh, I'll yep. play that someday, yeah, but I won't. Eventually we get to them, but no worries. <laughs> uh, not sure what's coming out PC-wise uh, soon, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we have for next week. No worries. All right, catch you next time. Catchphrase. Something, something, something dark side. Proceeding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.